The Tego connector is the only catheter protection device available today specifically designed for hemodialysis catheters. The ability of the Tego to prevent contamination of the catheter while performing the hemodialysis treatment is demonstrated in this model. The Tego is made up of two components, the internal body and an outer silicone sheath. The Tego is attached directly to each hub of the central venous catheter creating a microbiologically and mechanically closed system. To access the Tego, first swab the female lure with the desired disinfectant according to your facility protocol. Then attach the dialysis bloodlines or a syringe directly to the Tego. Push and twist the male lure of the administration device into the Tego until tight. Then securely lock down the rotating collar. You can then begin your hemodialysis treatment. The Tego has a unique straight-through, unobstructed fluid path, which is critical for maintaining the integrity of the blood while still providing a flow rate of more than 600 cc's per minute. After the treatment is complete, disconnect the bloodline by grasping the Tego and twisting the bloodline away until loose. Next, the Tego and catheter should be flushed according to your facility protocol. Swab the top of the Tego and attach the flush syringe. When the treatment is finished, the Tego is left in place on the catheter hub maintaining a microbiologically and mechanically closed system. The Tego maintains a seal thus preventing contamination of the catheter or fluid path at all times. This will come to animation to connect and disconnect to hemodialysis catheters using Citrolock catheter lock solution. Start of treatment. To start the treatment, the following is needed. Two 20 milliliter syringes filled with a sterile 0.9% saline solution. Two empty 5 milliliter syringes for the aspiration of the former used Citrolock. The procedure should be performed using an aseptic technique. The patient is placed in Trendelenburg position. Aspirate the Citrolock. Remove the cap from the venous lumen and connect the empty 5 milliliter syringe. Open the clamp and aspirate the former used Citrolock. Close the clamp and leave the syringe to block the port. Repeat the same procedure for the arterial lumen. Flush both lumens. Replace the aspiration syringes one by one with 20 milliliter syringes filled with a sterile 0.9% saline solution. Open the clamp and flush the lumen. Close the clamp. Repeat the same procedure for the other lumen. Leave the syringes in place to block the ports. Connect the blood lines. Connect the arterial bloodline to the arterial lumen. Remove the empty 20 milliliter syringe. Connect the venous line. Open the clamps and start the dialysis. Restore the patient to an upright position. The end of the treatment. Just before the end of the treatment, prepare the following items. Two 20 milliliter syringes filled with a sterile 0.9% saline solution. Two 2.5 milliliter syringes. One vial of 5 milliliter Citrolock catheter lock solution. The procedure should be performed using an aseptic technique. The patient is placed in Trendelenburg position. Close the catheter clamps. Disconnect the arterial bloodline. Connect the 20 milliliter syringes filled with sterile 0.9% saline solution and flush the arterial lumen. Close the arterial clamp. Connect the arterial line to the infusion bag with sterile 0.9% saline solution. Open the venous clamp and return the blood. After blood return, close the venous clamp and remove the lines. Connect the 20 milliliter syringes filled with sterile 0.9% saline solution and flush the venous lumen. Close the clamp and leave the empty 20 milliliter syringes to block the ports. Instill the Citrolock. 
Take the empty 2.5 milliliter syringes and fill these with the precise volume of Citrolock as indicated on the catheter. Remove the empty 20 milliliter syringe from the arterial port and put the syringe with Citrolock on the arterial port. Instill the Citrolock slowly in the arterial lumen. Repeat the same procedure for the venous lumen. Remove the syringes. Close the lumens with sterile caps.